Hey everybody, uh, in this section what I want to do is extend a little bit on what we did in the last section. And in the last section we talked about functions and kind of the built-in stuff with Python. So I'm going to write it out here first and I'm going to create a variable here and I'm going to, once again I'll use a is equal to 5. And what I want to do is, is talk about how a function uh, can go inside of another function. So we'll do it on the in, in Python in just a second, but I think here might illustrate the point a little bit better. So let's say I have an, an integer a, but I want to change it to a float. So if I did that, I would just do, as I said before, float a. But what would happen if I put this inside of another integer? Okay, so I did int float a. What would come out on the other end of this? What would be the answer? Well, it would actually be 5. It would go right back to being an integer. Because when a function happens, it's just like a math, just like math. When, if you're dealing with math, you have, say you have something like this. You have, uh, I don't know, 3 times 2 times uh 5 times 1 plus 2 and so on like that. So how do you do this problem? Well, you start at the very inside and you work this out to get 3. So this this becomes 5, 2, and 3. And then you multiply uh, everything inside of here. So you're left with, you know, 3 times... 30, and then your final answer of 90, okay? So you work from the inside out, and that is the same thing in programming. You work from the inside out. So if I had something along the lines of this, say I had a int, uh, let's say I put a 10 in here, okay? Then I had float, and I put that all inside here. Let me erase that a little bit. There we go. Okay. And then on the very outside, I used string, and I put everything in there. What would be the final output of this if I did this? Well, if I have an integer, that just gives me 10. It stays as an integer. But this will be 10 inside float, which means it will be 10.0. And then string will end up making it a string, so it should be... 10.0 when I'm done. So now let's actually go and look at the code. Uh, we'll do this for real this time. And pulling this over here. That's not what I wanted to do. Because that just showed the. All right, so. Uh, All right, and so here, what we can do is, if I do the same thing, let's say I say uh, string float int 10. Now, you need to make sure that the same number of parentheses over here match up. I hit enter, I get a string that is a floating point 10. Now, what, what would happen if I didn't put the right number of parentheses? Let's say I did this, and now I have one, two, three, open facing to the right, and then these two facing to the left like that. I hit enter. It's going to say dot, dot, dot. So what it's doing, this dot, 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 means, hey, I'm waiting for you to actually finish writing this code. You didn't write the code correctly, so I need to put that there, and it will finish it up. Okay, so this is a function inside of a function. And so we can do that with pretty much anything that we've looked at before. If I do this... Uh, if I do power, say I do a power of 5 to 2, okay? That's fine. Let's say I do fi power of 5 to 2.5. I now get a decimal number, right? But let's say I did power of 5 to integer 2.5. What's going to happen in there? Well, this will go first because it is inside these other parentheses here. So this will change to a... 2, 
and we'll end up with 25 at the end. Okay? And if I did power of float 5 and 2, I get this is a floating point, and this is a, an integer, and then floating point number will come out of it. You could also do type float 5. And now you know for a fact that this is going to be a floating point number, but I put an integer inside of it. So the type, though, will come out as float. Okay, so this was just a, a quick look at being able to put a function inside of another function. And this is a very, very common thing in programming is to kind of, what you would say, nest the functions. And we say nested. Nested means that 10 is nested inside float and all the float and int is nested inside string. All right? And these are these, that, this, these concepts might be a little difficult and we're gonna come back uh, pretty soon and we're gonna look at functions in a lot more detail. But since you're going to be using functions a whole bunch from this point on, it's really, really important that you get used to the idea of what a function is and what it can do for you, okay? All right. So this is the last lesson in the variables and functions section. In the next section, we're going to look at operators. And operators are all the different things you can do to add, subtract, multiply, divide, and different things like that. And these are very, very important concepts. Uh, very soon, we'll get uh, doing some loops and some other things with that. But the next section, we're going to do a whole bunch of math stuff using these. Now, don't, don't get scared. It's not going to be difficult math. It's just going to be basic math using all the different operators that Python comes with. Okay, I will see you in the next, next video.